Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Eric with Ozone TCG, and today we have Peter, who made top eight at his regional. Um, Peter, before we get into the video, do you have any shout-outs you want to give? Yeah, man, absolutely. So first of all, Ozone TCG, the channel, great group of guys. We're having a lot of fun with you. Uh, Ozone TCG members, Nick Natalello and Zahair Khan. Uh, Nick, this deck is your baby. You invented it, and it's been great. And Zahair has been roasting everybody at the YCS with it, so that's been excellent. Um, then my buddy Gabe, who drove with me up to Philly. Um, Gabe, we grind all the events together my favorite person Kyle for talking to me about the game all the time all the supporters and guys and friends who were there at the regional and all my detractors who wanted me to lose faster so we could go home <laughs> love you all perfect all right let's get on right into it so this was cyber gadget eldritch yeah cyber gadget eldritch exactly perfect. so most of the decks are pretty straightforward just some like minor changes so we still nine uh cyber monsters just one card full combo um not much here they're all just fine um when I side down when I'm siding because it loses, can lose to Ghost Spell. Everything else is just great. We play Brave cards, three Aquamancer, Foolish, three Right, and the one ofs. These are just the best cards in the game right now, so we want to be able to play them without drawing the undesirable ones. Um, these are just great when you see them. So, special there. The Eldritch part of the deck is where I did make a small change. I went down to one copy of Golden Lord, like some other people who have been playing this, instead of two. And then three Eldland, three Scarlet, and then just two Conk, two Hakaro. Um, the two changes were minus one Conquistador, one minus one Golden Lord, added another Hand Trap, and another copy of Magician Souls, effectively. Because um, these are fine, but you just don't want to draw them at, all that often. They're sort of like an inevitability aspect of the deck. So if the game goes long, you will draw them, and then you can start, you can win with them. And these were just great for doing that. Awesome. And the Magician Souls to sort of bridge the deck together and make use of all the spells and traps it manifests. Two Souls, two Illusion, two Prep. Um, this was just great all day. Um, although I didn't draw it with the Brave as much as I would have liked, drawing it with Eldland pretty frequently, and even just cantripping one spell or trap off of this. Um, it can force interactions where your opponent might not want to early, uh, earlier than when you summon your, before you summon your Link Monsters, and it's just a um, fantastic extender. Really happy I bumped it up a little bit. And then the cards that define the format, two Fusion Destiny, Fusion Materials, and Scythe, just part of the win condition. Yep. Um, defense was the biggest reason I wanted to play this deck. Uh, there are 19 defensive cards in here, and I feel like they offer you a ton of agency over your games, even if you lose the dice roll, where everyone else could just be losing to Fiber, Dagda, DPE, Scythe, all that. So we were able to play three Ash, three Bell, three Ogre, three Veiler, <laughs> Three Nibiru, three Imperm, and one main deck Lancia. Um, Bell is about the last one you add in. Uh, this slot is the slot that's problematically usually the most dead card against Flunderies, mm -hmm. but its ability to stop DPE recursion in longer games and also to stop Aquamancer just made it my choice overall. Okay. The rest of these are pretty excellent. Um, Nibiru is the best combo hand trap out there, and Nibiru plus any one of these to just stop the card that stops Nibiru is usually game over. And then one Lancia because we play Dagda. Gotta play the high rarity cards, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, except for my gold rare Eldliches. These are there cards I actually like. <laughs> I'll do the extra deck. Okay. Uh, access, Selene, Halk, just to, you know, end games. Uh, two Verte Anaconda, actually. Um, this was Zohara's idea from the YCS, and it did come up. Um, I had an opponent imperm one of these on summon when I was going for Griffin Rider afterwards, mm -hmm. and then I just made the second one. Um, so, definitely relevant. And Nibiru was incredibly popular in there today, too, or for the event. So, happy I did that. Uh, Unicorn was a change Nick suggested to me before I uh, submitted my deck list. Um, the deck doesn't out indestructible monsters with more than, with too much high attack or defense very easily. Like a Golden Lord in defense that was summoned by its own effect can be a problem, and also anything that floats. So okay. this became an over Nightmare Phoenix, was excellent. Uh, the two Charmers, these were great all day long. They make Selene, Snatch DPEs, just really, really good cards for how this deck wants to play. Link Spider to convert tokens, Link Garibo, um, Letting your combo resolve through impermanence is wild. Um, this card did put in a lot of work. EPE and then the two devotees, Dagda and Disciple. Um, the amount of value you get at the little cybers, guys, just with this and the redraw, putting back uh, undesirable draws is just incredible. Um, wouldn't change a thing here. These were all great. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, and then last is the side deck. Made some other changes here. Um, the second and third Lancia is just for any relevant matchup. Um, 
tried three cherries today um, because the entire format seems to be revolving on either DPE and or um, Halka Fibrax, which are both in here. So um, to get up to either 21 or 20, sorry, it's 20, 22 or 25 hand traps post side against depending on how combo heavy my opponent's deck is, um, this is just a great addition. Mm. Comes down before Griffin Rider too. Really important. Uh, three gamma and the driver, um, just really powerful when you see it. Um, can be relevant activating it on your own turn as well. Um, just really good going second. And then the last cards, uh, three lightning storm, any back row decks, and I love this card against Flunderies. Um, it's just okay. hilarious when you blow away the M pen and the statue and they're just losing from that point on. And then three sanctum, just to further abuse the artifact cards that we're playing. Um, Lancia to stop people who think evenly matched is a good idea, and just when, you, when you're so likely to get stopped from achieving full Dagda DPE off your Cybers cards, um, this is just a fantastic backup. Did and you see uh, Sanctum at all today? Uh, I did see Sanctum once, but it was um, my opponent couldn't beat what I had in front of it, so I didn't even need no, to flip no. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I just mentioned it was an auto win whenever he saw it uh, yep. previously. Absolutely. And awesome. yeah, that was the deck. Perfect. I'm glad that you were able to top this. It seemed like there were a lot of people at this event. How many players were at this regional? Do you know. So it, I thought it was mid 600s. I think there were actually over 700 people registered when oh, round wow. one started. So yeah, it was a 10 round regional. It was pretty grueling. That's too many people. Do you know? Do you remember what time it ended approximately? They actually wrapped it up pretty quickly. We got last round ended at like 9.20 or so. Oh, wow. um, there were some judge calls in the earlier rounds that lengthened things, but they really got going towards the end. I guess they didn't want to be there all night either. So shout out to Alternate Universes. They did a great job with it. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, I hate it. When I played in Columbus, Ohio, uh, it went on to almost midnight sometimes. It was too much for 10 rounds. But uh, yeah, congratulations on your, it was top eight. Which place did you get exactly? Fifth place. Okay, fifth place. That's still, hey, that's still highly respectable. The mat looks fantastic. Honestly, congratulations. This deck seems like it, like it is the Ozone TCG Classic at this point. This is really yeah, what put us on, on the map at this point. But yeah, congratulations. Sure. Hey, Peter, again, we love to see you on the channel, and we hope you top a little bit more. Thank you very much. All right, this is Eric and Peter with Ozone TCG. We'll see you guys in the next one.